challenge month. I'm Dr. J, so I'm going to be doing a video every single day in terms of knee health. Uh, we're going to be looking at a couple parameters with your knees. How does the structure's top down affect it? And how does the structure's bottom up affect it? Obviously, everyone needs to be able to walk and move, function, bend over, sit down, get up from standing, get up from laying. Uh, there's a lot of stuff we take for granted. So we want to do our due diligence and dive into this um, and help heal. Uh, we're going to also be going over a lot of other fun things in terms of how can we train slash rehab certain things, uh, especially of the knees, hips, ankles, uh, when doing laundry, when at home, at work. Uh, we're going to get some fun stuff with that too. So more to come on every single day, also in terms of habits, in terms of um, actually functioning and walking better. We're going to take in the other couple things uh, into consideration. Deeper structures opposed to super line or more superficial tissues or structures, if we will. Because how the nervous system functions, it goes from the deeper capsule joint slash uh, ligaments and tendons. And if there's any problem with them, it'll cause a guardian of overlying muscles and tissues surrounding that. So in terms of healing, we have to start internally and then work out from there. And usually rotation is the first to leave and first to diminish. So we're going to take that into consideration. So as we go into the knees, we got a fun little picture of the front, side, back. We're going to get to some other fun um, things and details with that moving forward. But... Um, a lot of people ask me, how do you even measure knee health? Today, we're going to start. I need you to grab a pencil, paper, pen. P paper doesn't even matter. Write in your notes on your phone. I don't care. We ought to be able to measure, and we ought to be able to know where we're going from here. And we're going to be doing this on a weekly basis. So we want to measure knee extension in terms of how flat, how straight your leg can go. Also, knee flexion how you far you can bring your heel to your glutes, um, internal rotation between internal, external, and then also knees over toes. Um, but we'll get to that here. So let's revert our attention to these lovely videos. We're going to start with knee flexion, heel to the butt. I'm going to speed this up as we go through. If you have a partner, I'd highly suggest them helping you out or asking favor. You want to bring a tape measure or ruler or what have you with that from your heel to your mid glutes, roughly S2, S3, um, and measure that distance. For my right side, it was about eight inches. So you set up, look at the measurement, ha ha, there we go. And then we go to the left side. Again, same thing, best you possibly can. Um, from the heel all the way down the S2 mid glutes, about eight and a half inches. Uh, and then from there, how straight can you get your leg? Now with this, I want you to pay attention to, you should be able to fit about a one fingertip uh, between the knee and the ground or the table. Both sides for me, it was just fine. Uh, it all depends on the size of the calf, if there's degeneration in the knee. If so, you wanna measure that height between the floor table and the bottom of the knee, if it is concerning or if there's more than one fingertip length. Um, there could be other, areas in terms of if you have a crazy thick or strong calves that will also change the distance but making sure that your heels also touching the ground now we're going to get into knees over toes with this i'd grab a ruler tape measure uh, and then first off starting can you actually have your toes touch the wall and have your knee touch the wall if you can't you want to measure the distance between your knee and the wall and start there now, as you can see, you want to find that current limitation, making sure your heel is directly on the ground, and make sure you push yourself, find that current line of limitation. So for me, my right side was about two and a half inches. Now we're going to try left. Can I go to the wall? Yes. we we'll move back from there. That was easy, making sure heel's on the ground, and we slide it down. Beautiful. And that was about two and three-fourths inch. Now, for internal external rotation you want a goniometer you can find one on an app store for me i use this one it's free um, it's simple to download use uh, so you go into that from there for this one you want to be able to press this button it'll start off with a computer screens 
because uh, that will also affect in terms of how you tilt and move your phone. And then you just push the button and you go from there. So we're gonna check the right side between internal and external rotation. So you push the button, making sure that you keep the knee as straight as you possibly can. For external rotation, you turn out about 31 degrees, reset, push the button, push it again, wait for it to go, flash, beautiful, beautiful, about 31 degrees as well. Now for the left side, External rotation going outwards was about 40 degrees. And then for internal rotation was about, as it'll go through, and I took all these measures myself, but also 29 degrees from there. So that is that. Um, also a couple other fun things. Uh, injured my <laughs> ankle on the top of it a few days back. So I've been healing that. So that's gonna be fun to compare um, where we first start off and how that progresses. That's also, I think, where a lot of my limitations are between internal and external rotation. So um, we'll keep monitoring that. Um, now, any acute injuries that you have uh, while we're on the topic, um, I would highly suggest, uh, depending on if there's swelling, you want to go ice with a barrier in between. Um, on and off, 15 minutes into the area is numb. Also, moving around, there's going to be some discomfort more so if there's any pressure on especially the muscle spindles or the pain receptors, it's going to fire those pain receptors of an achy, dull, sharp, um, tense discomfort pain that you can feel. Now, over time, we want to take pressure off those receptors. So that's where you want to get the waste products out and pumping that out. So that's where you want slow, small movement, pain-free, ideally, but uh, beginning, there's going to be a little bit there. And if the pain's the first to go, there's still other problems usually with that. So you want to keep up with that as well. So um, I hope you enjoyed the video today. Make sure you take measurements specifically, please, because uh, we're going to go on this every single Sunday and measure out from there. More videos to come. Look forward to see you guys in the next one. Thanks.